Hey squad, so today I'm coming to you to talk to you about stupid mistakes I'm still making even though I've hiked over 5,000 miles. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. Mistake number one is having way too much stuff on the outside of my bag. I thought I figured that out, but then I went on the long trail and had an entire backpack on my backpack. It's not a good idea because everything on the outside of your pack will like pull your pack back and make it feel a lot heavier than it actually is. Your backpack is set up so like it sends the weight of your pack down the back of your back. Um, makes sense? I think so. Um, I would go get my backpack, but I don't want to. Um, so yeah, stupid mistake number two. I guess this is less of a mistake and more of a habit I picked up. It's cooking and eating where you're camping. I have a real bad habit of cooking in my tent and eating in my tent because it's just convenient and um, if you cook in your tent, you can make a boo-boo in your tent. If you can't see, I burnt a hole in my tent and I had to get Nemo to fix it. Thank you, Nemo. This is not sponsored. Um, but Nemo hates me. Also, just aware, it's not even the big part of it. I mean, don't camp bake in your tent. Uh, bake. You can make some muffins. Um, uh, don't cook in your tent, obviously. You can burn your tent down and everything in it. Um, luckily I just burned a hole in my tent. Um, but the main thing is that you don't want the scent all over you and your stuff. And the creatures can smell that. And they will come and eat your food. And you want to eat your food. You don't want the creatures to eat your food. And then, I don't know, bears. Be aware of bears. You don't want to get attacked by bears. Because the bear will eat your food. And if it can't find your food, it'll eat you. When I was on the PCT, honestly, I just had my food, like, right out my door in my vestibule. That was a stupid idea. Why did I do that? That's a stupid idea. Even if you have, like, a bear can or whatever, put it, put it, put it, put it, at least on the other side of camp or something. I don't know. I don't know. Just don't sleep with your food. Don't cook in your tent. Don't eat in your tent. My camera is not focusing. Stupid mistake number three. Not knowing exactly how to use my gear slash not taking advantage of it to its full capabilities. Um, two big examples come to mind. First, my ice axe, which I just recently learned how to use. Um, I don't know how I got through the Sierras, but if you're carrying an ice axe, learn how to use it because otherwise it'll just poke holes in your rain gear. Um, also, the other thing is my Garmin. Um, I realized that all I use my Garmin for is to send a message every night that said, Hey, I'm okay, I'm at camp. Um, not that there's anything wrong with that, but looking back at it, when I was going through these more remote places, I could have sent another message in the morning and say, Hey, I'm hiking. So that, so that it say, I go missing or whatever, they'll know hey, this person actually started hiking. They made it through the night or whatever. Whatever. I could have just used my Garmin more. Stupid mistake number four is packing my fears. Um, this is something everybody does. You pack your fears. You just do. Um, for me, that is food and my battery packs because I rely on my phone for navigation and my camera and everything I do is on my phone. So I carry two power banks. It's excessive, but hey, it got me through the Sierra, so like, it's fine. Um, and that's not something I'm gonna fix anytime soon. And then obviously food. It's something I'm getting better at, yet I still strapped an entire backpack on the outside of my backpack. Stupid mistake number five is not planning ahead. And yes, I do plan ahead. I look at four out all the time. I look at four out before I go to sleep. I look at four out as soon as I wake up. I look at four out when I get to the top of a mountain. I look at four out when I'm crossing 
a stream. I look at for out when I'm cooking. I look at for out whenever there's a view. I look at for out whenever there's a blowdown. I look at for out when I'm being chased by a bear. I look at for out more than I look at my feet. I look at for out and I don't attain anything. Um, but yes, I look at for out a lot and I do plan ahead, but basically I need to look at for out more to know exactly where the water is and be aware of where the water is and plan my water accordingly because that's the other thing. Like I will not plan my water accordingly because I'm like, I'll look like I'll cross a dripper or a stream or something. Like I might want to be like, oh, I have a liter and the next water is in like six miles. Like maybe I should get another liter. I don't know. Also need to figure out how much water I drink because I still don't know. It honestly depends on how hot it is and what or not. And anyways, I don't, you don't care. Um, but yes, that's something I need to work on is water. Um, and how much I need to carry because water's heavy. Um, also, I need to plan, be better planning on where I'm going to camp because generally I plan where I'm going to camp when the sun is like two inches above the horizon. Not a smart idea. Plan where you're going to camp in advance. Like, as soon as you wake up, like, I get an idea, but like, I don't actually like look to like see where I am until obviously the sun is two inches above the horizon. Um, which is not always the best idea. But like, how do you know how far you're gonna go? I don't know. I don't know. Something I need to work on. Also, the flip side of this is I think I use far out too much. Far out is amazing, especially if you're on the AT, the PCT, basically any trail that they have, it's amazing. Um, but solely relying on it is not the best idea. And I should be aware of that. And I should have at least some sort of second navigation. Whether that's Garmin. I mean, I kind of use Garmin. The InReach app. But not really. I mean... Or Gaia or even All Trails. Do not rely on All Trails if you're on a through hike though. That's stupid. Um, All Trails is like for day hiking. Um, but yes. If anybody knows of a second good, like, trail source for trails, um, let me know, because I need it. Because I'm, I love Far Out, but it's too much, and Far Out, if you're watching this, just know that I'm still mad that the AT has, like, 11 maps, and it's more expensive than the PCT, which is longer and has only five maps. Like, what? And yet you make me split Virginia into two maps and made me pay for both of them when all of Oregon, which is longer than Virginia, is in one map. Like, what are you doing for out? Sorry. Um, but yeah, those are just some of the mistakes I am trying to work on, and I hope that addressing them here will make me work on them, and hopefully they'll go away. Um, so yeah. Um, that's all I got for you. So I guess until next time, may your elephants fly.